I'm Kathy Lowinger, and I'm the author of Give Me Wings, How a Choir of Former Slaves Took on the World, published by Annick Press. I learned about Ella Shepard and the Jubilee Singers through a documentary that I saw on television. The Jubilee Singers started off as a group of students at Fisk University, or the Fisk School for Coloreds, as it was then called. I was really taken by Ella's story and by her youth and the youth of the other people in the choir. After the Civil War ended and uh, slaves had been freed, they were left in the situation of refugees. They had no income, they had almost no uh, access to education before, and certainly very little after. Their families had been torn apart. It was a chaotic and desperate time. The American Missionary Association after the Civil War was really active in setting up schools for former slaves. And this was a perilous undertaking because both the students and the teachers were often attacked and sometimes murdered. One of the schools was the Fisk School for Coloreds and it was going bankrupt. The person who was in charge of the treasury thought if we put on a show this might be an opportunity for us to make some money. And that was a person named George White. Ella Shepard, who was only 18 at the time and had no formal training other than a few voice lessons, but was incredibly gifted. And with Ella, George put together a choir and they went on the road. It was more or less a disaster financially until they started singing spirituals. Most people in their audiences have never heard such songs, and that's what captivated them. And by going back to their own roots and by the music that had, had informed their experiences as slaves, they captured the world. I hope that young people who read this will understand and appreciate that these were real heroes. These were people who had absolutely nothing. They started from nothing after the war. And the fact that they valued education so much that they were willing to die for it, and some of them did die for it, I think is a huge inspiration for anybody who learns about their story. And in a way, I hope they close the book and go and listen to these wonderful spirituals. The Jubilee Singers still exist, and there are other fantastic gospel and spiritual singers singing, and I hope they'll be inspired to sing the music as well.